Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Sorry for being um, um, less active lately, but um, today we're back on street photography and uh, I'm in Antwerp shooting with the Leica Q2 and I'm in Antwerp with uh, my mate Vladimir. So uh, Hello. Uh, he's shooting with the Fuji X100V and um, we're gonna spend the whole day here in, uh, in Antwerp shooting uh, street photography. Ideal would be to get uh, at least seven good shots per uh, Per head. <laughs> uh, You're this optimistic. Is, this is this is the goal for for today. Uh, but we have like a full day of shooting, so uh, this is probably doable. Um, Vladimir comes from the same city as I do, and uh, it's basically a small city in Romania. Uh, not lots of opportunities regarding street photography. Uh, so I want to um, ask him uh, further on, like during the day, um, how does it feel for him, like uh, to be in a larger city with lots of opportunities, and if 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 he feels if he feels more inspired and uh, stuff like this. So it's going it's going to be basically uh, starting here from the north from the central station, then we're going to go to the Jewish neighborhood, and then we're going to um, head to the city center, and um, yeah, Vladimir, any thoughts for the day? No, just. Let's just hope we have a very good light. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, these are some shots uh, uh, Vladimir and I um, we've done yesterday in Brussels. It was more like a chill day, like to discover Brussels and uh, visited and had a beer and uh, yeah, a, a and pretty got wet and got wet. A, a, a pretty chill day, but uh, Vladimir he, he felt like pretty inspired. So these are the shots that we took yesterday. It was like a pretty chill day, and um, yeah, hope you enjoy the shots. The, the weather looks pretty good, sunny, and uh, let's uh, let's give a like for Vladimir here and welcome to the to the channel. Feel free to follow him on Instagram, and uh, yeah, if you like the content of the channel, feel free to subscribe. So, uh, feeling pumped, Vladimir? Yep, feeling energized, and let's do some shots. Okay, let's do it. What is Pekata Shalebi? And um, do you like? Do you think you need to spend more time here in order to get more like, uh, like say I don't know, accustomed to the to the city to know it better, or uh, uh, do you prefer like going to a city and like I don't know, be more curious like the first time you arrive and just? I think uh, it's a trap. First time you arrive, everything looks, looks yeah oh, yeah looks good. So you need to you need to uh, do. <laughs> we definitely need a coffee, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I, I really do. So yeah, let's coffee. let's head, let's head and take a coffee and then uh, do some more street photography and, and then, we'll talk some more. Yeah, give more updates later, okay? So yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, just had a good coffee, uh, fueled up, refueled up, and uh, we we counted our shots so far. So um, I got four, five shots, I guess five shots that work well. Uh, but Maybe the same. I'm not sure. But uh, we're still positive that we get our seven shots. If we want to push it, it's like 10 shots per, per person, <laughs> but I don't know if it's doable. We still have like three, four hours. But uh, yeah, the, the, the light is pretty good. Weather is pretty good. So uh, with a bit of luck and inspiration. And maybe lots of coffee. Lot, lots of coffee. Maybe we can get our shots. Uh, but definitely we're positive, right? Yep. Good day so far? Very good day so far actually okay that's uh that's good so uh yeah let's head to the to the canal side and uh let's take some shots let's take some good shots right <laughs> But my, my question is, is it a keeper? That depends. For it, me, not necessarily. Uh, actually, it depends, it depends on the context. Because in some contexts, the, the shots are keepers, right? But if you don't have the right context, it's not necessarily a good shot. In a series, it might make, it might make a lot of sense, right? Sorry, get to, I'll get back to you later. Right, this is the one, the one that works. Actually, two of them. Sorry? Actually, two of them. Because I got the guy's gesture. Yeah, the gesture works better, I guess. Yeah. And I also got the guy without the head because the head was in the shadows. So yeah, that well, that works as well, huh? So yep. basically, you got your shot here, okay? Yeah, I got my shot here. Can we move on, please? Yes. <laughs> So um, I guess we have like one more hour left, let's say, till the sun goes down and probably we got our shots. I guess I have like seven shots that are okay -ish. and uh, I don't know how much, how many shots do you have, Vladimir? I don't know. I lost count. <laughs> like 25? <laughs> or more. No, just kidding. We'll see at home. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, pretty good day so far, I would say, huh? Yep. Not, not bad. Yeah. Could have been better, but uh, good weather, good uh, vibes, good vibes. Uh, not enough coffee. Yeah, not enough coffee. Just one one coffee during the day. It's not enough. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we should like treat ourselves. Treat us. Maybe we should treat ourselves with a waffle. Yeah, Belgian waffle. Mm. If normally if it's a good day, it's waffle. It's waffle uh, time. Okay. Yep. So that's. Uh, find a waffle that's the reward and let's take one more good shot and then uh, let's go back to Brussels Nom, 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 nom. 
here for a moment? Nope. Too late for that, mate. This is how you recognize it's a good day, good day street photography. So for this video, we decided to, to end it like this, to, to select two, uh, two pictures from, uh, from our um, um, day in Antwerp and explain why uh, our, are these our favorite pictures from the day. So uh, we, we have like different approaches, different way of understanding streets and that's the beauty of um, street photography. So I'm gonna let Vladimir um, uh, show you his two pictures from the, from the... Actually, I'm gonna let Vladimir show you all the pictures from the, from he, from the day, all the pictures he took um, in Antwerp. And uh, he's gonna select two pictures and he's gonna explain why he, um, he chose two pictures and why these are like his favorite shots from, uh, from the day. And afterwards, I'm gonna uh, show you my two favorite shots from the day. So uh, yeah, uh, when you're ready, Vladimir, let's, uh, let's see our pictures. And afterwards, uh, let's explain why do you, um, do you fancy this, uh, these pictures and why these are like your favorite, uh, favorite shots, okay? Okay. Seems good for you? Yep. So uh, these are okay. the pictures. Enjoy. And you can you can tell us in the comments which was your favorite, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's hear uh, let's hear your your thoughts regarding Vladimir's pictures. Which which do you think are like your favorite ones or the ones that you like? This is the first shot of the uh, the two I chose and I really like this one because it seems like the statue is learning from the from the tourists how to take a selfie so it has the the hand gesture right and it checks out if if it holds the hand right and uh, this is the second shot and what I saw in this is a uh, uh, generations gap, right? Um, an older man who is dressed very posh, very uh, elegant, and a younger guy who is passing through, and it's clearly dressed more modern, and uh, uh, and he kind of checks out the older guy, right? and i i didn't care for the for the face of the older guy i think you can see in uh, in the details uh, and how he holds his hands and the the small parts of the body that i i caught on camera you can see the style that he's approaching my first shot is the the one through the window when um, they're arranging the the yeah the, the plastic model so um, it, it, it's an approach, more a classic approach of street photography for me. So that's why I'm, that's what I'm aiming and targeting these days to be more like candid and classic approach of street photography. Um, and uh, I really like this shot. It's like probably my best shot from the day, I would say. Um, I, I got also some silhouettes, some uh, contour, some stuff like this. But uh, this was, this is my, my, my guess. In my opinion, my my best shot. And the second shot is the the man with the hat. I like this shot because the light was very good. And um, it, it, it has like a, a little bit of a, a candid shot, but it's all, almost like uh, it could be anybody in the shot. So it's just like, it's a little a bit of mysterious shot. And um, I love the, the, the light and, um, and um, yeah, the framing. And uh, it's just like, yeah, that's, that's my, uh, 
these are my thoughts these are these are my shots but feel free to let me know in the comment section uh, below what you think about the pictures i uh, would love to hear your thoughts um i don't know if i have good seven good shots from the day but uh, I'm, I'm happy that we went out and uh, uh, got some some cool shots and it was a long walk a good long walk so uh yeah yeah that's that are uh, these are my thoughts any any other thoughts vladimir like regarding antwerp regarding the street photography in antwerp uh, i don't know you coming from a city or from a small city in romania like well um one of the one of the things is that when you shoot close to home you're used to you're it's easy to to fall into a routine yeah. right and to uh, to miss the shots and when you when you go to a, a city as busy as antwerp is kind of overwhelming and you have to you have to be very selective right because the first instinct is to shoot everything yeah yeah true so happy with the shots happy with the yeah i'm pretty happy with the shots and i feel i need more than one day in every city we we photograph these days well ne next time right yeah definitely next time but if if you're happy and uh, if it was a good day uh yeah i'm happy too so uh welcome to belgium mate thank you mate thank you for hosting me and for showing me showing me a, showing me a good time Glad, uh, glad that you like it. So yeah, feel free to um, leave your uh, your comments and uh, your your opinion in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and give me a thumbs. Up.